First, start off by rolling down the window. Next, grab the cleaning wipe, open, and clean the areas in which the visor will be applied. Be sure the area is dry before proceeding to the next step. Hold the visor up to the door frame to get an idea of how it will be installed. Now, peel back about 2 inches of each side of the adhesive strip. This step is important. Be sure when installing this end clip that it wedges just behind the side view mirror. Remember, do not insert into the window channel and do not place on top of the side view mirror. Now, line up the edge of the visor with the edge of the door frame. We will apply pressure to the adhesive strip while slowly peeling back the red tape. Be sure to take your time with this step. Gently pull a little tape at a time while applying pressure to the area of the visor where the tape has been removed. Always grab the tape as close to the visor as possible to avoid tearing the tape. Once you have removed all the strips of tape, run your fingers around the edge to ensure a tight seal. Now we are ready to install the mounting clips and the included locking pins. Insert the mounting clips into the window channel. Push the clip towards the visor to ensure the holes are aligned. We will then grab the circular piece and the center pin. Place the circular piece on the back side of the clip and put the center pin through the hole on top of the visor. Then grab the locking pin and push it through the center to lock everything in place. Now, repeat the steps for the second pin Now close the window to secure the mounting clips Repeat the same procedures for the rear visor.
After you have installed all of the locking pins, follow the same procedures to install the visors on the other side of the vehicle.